hey guys welcome back again to my channel what's up guys so just when i just said let me just go and rest my head a little before i bring you guys this this brief and boom i've already slept till almost two o'clock and i just feel like okay let me wake up and just give you guys this gist before i go back to bed again so that it doesn't look as if you people my 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 beautiful subscribers are lagging behind kind of you get so let me just get straight to the point today they actually had a challenge or with um, a deluxe challenge you get and the house was actually splitted into two group like today was a little bit juicy this night so really i just woke up and i'm like oh I need to come and give my guys this cheese to get so to the house was split into two group and the groups were named Luna 4 was team A and Cornish Dawn was team B you get and then Luna 4 the team on consists of Ozo, Prince, Watoni, New, Praise, V, Tolani Badge, Eric and Lacon and then group B consisted of Lucy, Kidwire, Erica, Trikiti, Keicha, Tochi, Brito, Dorothy and Nengi you know so actually Dulux actually um, provided them with the, um, some paints to actually paint a board or like to to organize the living area you get like an ante room kind of say you get and one of the things they were supposed to concentrate on or they have three things to actually concentrate on which was interpretation of the client's brief using the wood board and number two is creativity color coordination and then number three is overall quality of the presentation you get so actually biggie the result they actually did the whole thing team a did theirs and team b did that and then the results came in and biggie called them into the lounge and he started by talking about the um, interpretation interpretation luna ford had overall creativity um team a had 50 over 60 and team b had 55 over 60 and then in overall quality presentation you get team a team a had 18 points and team b had 16 points and then beginning on some the whole um, score up and team a actually scored 83 points and team b actually scored 89 points and you remember that big brother actually did not tell them that there was a prize attached to this thing you know i think they should even be doing it like that so that you will see the people that are really concentrating on this thing you get so what happened was big brother now told them the prize that they have won they actually won deluxe paint each of them won deluxe paint and a catch prize of two million naira you need to see how these people were jumping for joy they were happy and you have they were so happy nengi was happy eric her and um, kid wired lucy they were just jumping and hugging each other and then you know that the housemates were also preparing for their wager challenge tomorrow they've been acting some drama which chikiti is like the director <laughs> Okay, as they were doing now, they were just, you know, trying to coordinate themselves after Big Brother has actually announced the, the winner of the Deluxe Paint Challenge. They were now doing their, their rehearsal and oh, then all of a sudden they went on break. I don't understand. This guy already does not know when to go on break. He sometimes go on break when something important, when my ear is tickling for me to actually hear what they are saying or what is happening. Okay, they just, immediately just came back off, off from the break. We, I just heard also fuming. Also was he yelling on top of his voice yes. apparently some other housemates took permission and went to urinate and mr prince was just sitting down and chilling and then when the others came back he got up and got up and left and then also just lost it completely oh you need to see how also was yelling and he, when he was coming from the bathroom also was like telling him you you yeah i don't know whether he wanted to talk and also just said shut up and i'm like hey you need and for some reason there you need to see how prince was even coordinating himself like i think that if it was if it were ladies that were doing this thing ah everywhere for scatter hey party scatter oh party scatter hey party scatter <laughs> you know how we ladies can be everywhere for scatter like the party the drama everything would have scattered but i just see like the way prince just comported himself and was just chewing his gum chuck him chuck him chuck him like i don't care kind of a thing and coming in he stood also was just yelling on top of his voice and when prince wanted to say anything he just told him to shut up but guys i need to play this clip for you guys to see and you're sitting down here now everybody comes back you stand up and decide to leave what's going on now that is <laughs> you are not actually drama to the point no shut bro, shut bro, up bro. Bro. I just want to ask some mommy what question. Ah, please, you, Edjo, you people should not be angry. Let me just ask. Is it just this uh, wager challenge or wager whatever? Or is it just this drama? Or some people were saying on top of Twitter that also is actually angry because at the end of the drama, Prince will marry Nengi. 
savage people on top of Twitter street. I swear, people were just saying that he's angry because of his nengi. But me, my point is the way he filmed. I've never seen Ozo like that. You know, Ozo is more of a calm and a collective person. And then for him to lose it completely like that, then I have not seen it before, and I didn't see it even coming. Nobody was expecting it. Like somebody will say on Twitter too that Ozo went from uh, Tony Mays to Jim Ike, and I'm like, oh, Twitter people, you guys will not kill people with some funny, funny words that you're saying. He really yelled, but I must really commend um Prince because I feel like if Prince has handled it another way, it will, this one that I'm talking, this one I'm coming here to give people the gist that they quarreled, they would just have been be physical combat because if he had filmed the way also actually filmed, everything would have scattered. Like, but he was just he had this less concern kind of look like I just they tolerate you. That calmness that you know people like that can be very bad, can be really, really bad. I understand, yeah. But he just had this calmness and he did not say anything while also was just shouting and also was on top of his words. Also now said that he's not going to act again. He's going to give his his, his role to someone else, and I'm like, also, are you sure it's because of his easing himself, or it is because of our, you know, you know, you know, you know what the both of them are dragging? So let me not just start instigating anything. But if you look at his very way, it was just somehow. So also was like, he's not going to act if he does not apologize to the whole house. And Prince was like, okay. I guess to marry Nengi at the end, so I will apologize. Don't mind me, that's not what he said. So Prince just literally apologized to everybody. And then Tricky now stepped in and I was addressing all of them and was like, please, we should try to come together and do this thing normally again. And at the end of the day, Ozo too also apologized to the house and to um Brian and to Prince for yelling on top of his voice for like losing it completely because guys he lost it completely. Even me, I will not lie. I'm now thinking that ah, are you sure Ozo is not losing it because he's um you know he's um him and Prince they are dragging one thing. I don't understand, but I just or maybe he's angry because they actually his team actually lost the competition. Any of those two reasons can be the under layer of also losing it completely today with Prince. Because I'm sure maybe if it was someone else, it wouldn't have really ended up like that. But whatever it is, I, I will say, I commend also for also apologizing to Prince. And I commend Prince for just keeping his cool, for just keeping calm. Don't try this with a lady because a lady in that house, maybe a lady, the two ladies are everywhere. Even his big brother will come and separate that particular fight because they will not hear it. They will not even listen. So guys, I can't even wait to see the housemates actually come up with this tax tomorrow because since they came into the house they have not won any wager challenge and their money has been going down you know now if you don't end you will your money will keep it going down so my fingers are just crossed for them and hoping and praying that they actually win it so that they can have more jollification you know the more they have jollification the more they will be you know more productive for us to see just that I will come and just people so please you guys should start praying for our housemates let them come let them be let, let them be able to actually pull this through to impress Biggie so that Biggie can at least give them their wager you get so that's just it i'm waiting tomorrow to actually not tomorrow i'm waiting waiting much later today to actually see how this actually plays out i just feel like i should bring you guys this hot gist of also losing his calm completely because of praise and i'm like let me come and give you guys this gist. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. And turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. I love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.